If you use taller enclosures for your snakes, you're probably trying to find of ways to utilize all of the empty space on the upper half of the tank because it's easy to fill at the bottom half with caves and logs and things like that, but how do you encourage the snake to climb around the cage? One route I really like to take is using magnetic ledges. These are ledges that obviously magnetically adhere to the side of the tank. They don't look like this when they're sold. The ledge is just a plain old ledge, which I think is kind of boring. And the snake feels a little exposed just sitting right on top of the ledge or on top of a rock. So I like to add foliage around it to make the snake feel a little more secure. So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own customized ledge like this one at home. You won't need much for this project, just your rock of course, a drill, a hot glue gun, and a plant. Make sure that the ledge you're going to use for this project is made out of a very condensed foam material, not plastic. This will be a lot easier to drill into and make the project go a lot faster overall. This one was found on Amazon for like $15. I'll put a link to it in the description below. When picking out a drill bit for your drill, make sure you use one that's approximately the same size as the stem of the plant that you will be inserting into the rock. Next, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Oof, that's a strong magnet. And now I'm going to drill holes around the outside of the ledge. A uh, half inch deep should do. If you want your plants going upwards, drill the hole straight down. If you want them coming out at an angle, then drill your hole at an angle. Since I didn't mention it earlier, I got my fake plant from Michael's, but you can get them from other craft stores too, like Joanne Fabrics for like $5. It was really cheap. Just choose one with rigid stems so that it holds upright when it's in the rock. If your plastic has wire inserts on the inside, then you do not want to use scissors unless you want to destroy them. Instead, you'll need some sort of wire cutter like this section on this needle nose pliers. Next, I'm going to insert a little bit of hot glue into each hole and then immediately place the plant in before it cools down. all there is to it. It's pretty easy. It's a nice way to spruce up one of these uh, magnetic ledges into something a little bit more creative and the snakes do seem to like it. Now we'll put it in the tank. When you're attaching the ledge itself to the tank, don't let the magnets just slap into place. That could risk damaging something including the glass of your tank. Instead, rest the magnet a few inches away from where it lines up and then just slowly attach it into place. The magnets will eventually pull it into place for you. And if it becomes crooked like this one did, just reach on inside and you can adjust it then. One thing to keep in mind is to not place this ledge directly underneath a basking light because the heat of that light may end up overheating and melting the plastic of the leaves. So keep it a good distance away from the basking spot. And don't be worried if your snake does not go onto it right away. My snake's still kind of checking it out from a distance. To a snake, that is a big scary new object in their tank, and it might take a few days or even a couple of weeks before they end up exploring it. On the other hand, some snakes are very adventurous by nature and may check it out right away. But basically, don't give up if they don't go on it immediately. <laughs> 